Hello everyone and welcome to Nature with Gabe, the channel where we connect you to nature and incredible people just like yourself. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about bird banding and I'm going to be sharing with you a glimpse of what it is like to volunteer at a bird banding station. I had the opportunity to go out and volunteer at the Panola Mountain State Park Bird Banding Station in Georgia. It was an awesome experience and I'm happy I get to share it with you guys. Essentially, bird banding is a way of studying birds. Most banding takes place during the spring and fall when birds are moving due to migration. In order to ban birds, you have to catch birds. And the best way to catch many birds is by starting very early in the morning before the sun rises. Finely meshed, lightweight nets called mist nets are typically used for capturing birds. These are the first things to be set up in the morning and they are checked regularly throughout the day in order to ensure that no bird is caught in a net for longer than a few minutes. Every banding station is run by a master bander, someone who has tons of experience, who can manage lots of people, and who is certified to do this type of work. Charlie Muse has been running the Panola Banding Station for well over a decade. So 13 years ago we started banding here on this little peninsula and as DNR has been restoring the native Forbes season grasses and Forbes here we've been banding birds about twice a month um, trying to monitor the changes in the bird populations over that time. We found some really interesting data here. Um, seems like we're helping migratory birds, ones that are just moving through here and don't actually spend any significant time. Um, seems like we're helping them as much as we're actually helping the ones that winter here or the ones that breed here. Um, we have seen a decline in some of the more forest type birds here as they've restored the grasslands and removed a lot of the native, uh, excuse me, the ex exotic um, woody plants that are in here. There were a lot of uh, things like um, Bradford pear and um, Russian olives and things like that that they had to get out. Um, and as they've restored all the native stuff, the stuff that belongs here, we've seen increases in swamp sparrows and increases in a lot of other grassland birds, indigo buntings, and, and the stuff that really belongs in this kind of a habitat. As nets are checked throughout the day, any birds that are caught are taken out of the nets by volunteers who are trained in extracting the birds carefully. These birds are then brought to the main banding area where someone who is certified as a master bander will start to take data on those birds. For any new bird captured, a band is placed on their leg. The band is a specific size according to the species or the particular size of that individual. If the particular bird is a recapture, meaning it already has a band that it received at a previous date, then that information is taken down as well. A variety of measurements are taken and the bird is aged and sexed if possible. Throughout the whole process, data is recorded by a volunteer. Every band has a unique number that allows a bird to be identified if it is recaptured. Sometimes birds are caught that already have been banded at a different location. Researchers can use the unique identifying numbers to try and locate where that bird was banded originally. Sometimes this can be thousands of miles away. Bird banding has been taking place for over a hundred years and is one of the best ways to study bird populations around the world. And yes, safety and the well-being of all birds is top priority for banders. Birds are all released as soon as they can be. Banding at Panola Mountain could not take place without the help of dedicated volunteers. 
I have been working here as a volunteer for about four years. And part of the reason that I do this is to keep myself active. I've retired, so now I would like to have a very, very positive, productive type of activity to um, something more than just occupy my time. And I have been been here for about two years now. Uh, I really like coming out um, to see the nature. Um, it's beautiful out here and I get to learn a lot. I've been extracting, um, like I said, for about two years and um, my knowledge of the birds that I learned um, has grown exponentially since I've been here. And um, the reason I like banding is because two things. It reminds me of when I was a kid and we would go fishing and you never knew what you were going to catch and it was always something new and exciting. And a lot of it is just patience and waiting around and just soaking in the outdoors. And out here it's beautiful and you get to see sunrises and like this morning, frost on the grass. And the other thing is you get to hang out with cool people who like the outdoors. And that's another part of it that I really like. So I'm here. All right, everyone, so that was an awesome day. In total, we ended up catching about 60-something birds, um, which is an awesome number. It's the most I've ever gotten when I've been out banding, even though I haven't banded much. But it was really cool to see a wide variety of sparrows and um, eastern bluebirds, eastern phoebes, Carolina wrens, a whole bunch of neat birds. And bird banding stations, as you can see, are a really great way to learn more about birds and really just connect with them um, in a really intimate way. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of banding. Have you heard of banding before? Have you been banding? You know, go ahead and feel free to leave a comment and tell me about it and we can have a discussion more about, you know, banding and bird conservation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I'm excited to continue to make more content for you guys. If there's anything you wanna see, let me know. Um, and yeah, other than that, just remember nature is awesome. Nature is powerful and so are you. So have a great day. I haven't tried that today. I haven't got to sit down today. You didn't know you'd have to work as hard as Jim today. <laughs> 63 on the wing. Age is two by PL. Sex is unknown. Zero fat, body molt zero, flight feather molt in, flight feather wear zero.